Phase 1 747 tanker test were conducted on July 6, 1972 at Edwards Air Force Base. During the five and a half hour test flight, 747 flight characteristics were demonstrated while Air Force receiver aircraft evaluated various refueling positions. Preparations for the test began on April 30th with the installation of test equipment in the number one Boeing 747. Extensive structural modification of the aft fuselage was necessary to accommodate the KC-135 high-speed refueling boom furnished by the Air Force. The aft pressure bulkhead of the 747 was modified to accept a boom operator's viewing window. Standard KC-135 boom operator's controls and pallets, along with a revised hydraulic system, were installed. After a two-month modification period, the airplane was prepared for flight with a functional system checkout. The refueling boom was not capable of actual fuel transfer, but in all other respects, operated the same as the standard KC-135. As a result of the boom location on the 747, approximately the same clearances were maintained, tanker to receiver, tail to nose, as exist with the KC-135. Modified KC-135 flight director lights on the 747 belly were checked out prior to first flight. B-52 testing was conducted at speeds ranging from Mach 0.67 to Mach 0.79. And we're getting a little trim change here as he moves in. And 5-2's got a contact. Nose to contact. Just a hair of pitch change as he moved in just prior to contact. Well, this and comments on the lights, the, uh, we can see them clearly enough. The up-down lights are, are very good. The uh, fore and aft lights are... Uh, I've got bright spot in the middle of the whole lens, but they're clearly seen. Okay, 5-9, I'll initiate a disconnect now. Disconnect. And receiver's ready. Tank is ready. Up four. Up two. Indicating contact made. Clear your telescope is 14 feet. Roger, indicating contact disconnect on my count. One, two, three. Disconnect anchor. 
Pineapple at three.